not read. I have a fourth grade reading level, I'm struggling. And sometimes I call myself stupid, not in a way to put myself down. So don't take it like, my God, those are so hurtful. Yeah, they're hurtful, this honest. The conversation has to become an honest conversation of where you're at mentally. Where am I at mentally? I look like shit. I feel like shit. I'm not this, I'm, I'm falling behind in school. I'm lazy. My house is a mess. You have to look at what it is and call it what it is. Don't find words to make yourself feel better because that's what, so we hang around people that make us feel better, that tell us what we want to hear, not what we need to hear. And so we stay away from those people and we stay away from those people like our internal dialogue becomes that kind, it's okay, it's not okay. So that's where it starts. It starts with that accountability of it's not okay anymore. This can no longer be okay. Back to once again, study, I'm a lab rat and I study myself. And I'm like, when I'm feeling fucked up, I go, okay, what did I do last week? And usually I can find out where I messed up last week, you know, how much I'm traveling, how much I'm sleeping, how much I'm doing all this stuff. And, and through journaling, man, you can really figure out so much about where you're messing up in life and what you need to fix about yourself. Taking constant inventory. Constant. Being honest about that. And that's the thing about, you cannot put bullshit in there. Yeah. It's gotta be a real, a real journal about, hey, today I messed up here. Today I should have been a better person here. And not just saying it, but actually trying to fix it tomorrow. Do you extend that accountability to including, like bringing in like a close circle of, of friends and mentors so they know what's going on? Or are you just accountable to yourself? Like if somebody's looking at this and saying, well, I could do that, but how do you feel about letting others in on your goals and, and, and having like external pressure to hold you accountable? No, there's no external pressure. That's that's, well, that's you don't need it. My, no, you no. know what I mean. But I think other people. Oh yeah, other yeah. It, you know, it's important to have circles. It's important to have like like I talk about, man. Like like that big rabbit hole of, of bad people that you want to get away from. Like if you're a drunk and you want to stop drinking, you gotta get away from those people. You want to build this nucleus around you of people who are saying it's not okay to sleep in today. We gotta get after it. Hey, let me see your journal. You're supposed to be running five miles today, you only ran three. You gotta have those people. Some people need those people. Mm -hmm. And it's important. But you wanna get to the point in your life, it's real important that you hold yourself accountable and those people start to fade away because you now got it. You wanna be that person because they're not always gonna be there. Listen man, I'm not going deep into the cellar of my mind and fixing the foundation of my soul. My soul is broken. And, but you know, I knew I could fix it, but I was afraid to go back. I was afraid to face the demons of my life, you know, because you start lying. You want anybody knowing this shit about you. So, so you start lying about who you're not and start creating a person about who you want to be, but it's not who you are. So that's when I started realizing, man, I'm never going to get over the hurdle. I'm always going to live on a surface level until I go deep, deep into the sewer of my mind to figure out and face all of these different demons. That's hard. It's hard. We all like social media. We all like everybody to see us for who we want to be.